Hi friends! I am so excited you're here today because I will be talking about all the books I want to read in March and some March reading plans. Um, I don't think I'll be reading as much in March honestly uh, because I will be working full-time and I still will be working part-time at my part-time job. Uh, so yeah not a lot of reading will probably happen in starting in the middle of the month or so uh, but you know I will still try my hardest to get those books in. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty late, uh, this TBR and my reading plans. Uh, so let's just get right into it with my book club pick for March, which is Strega by Johan Leike Holm. Uh, this is a translated work. It's from Norwegian. I tried to put in a little Norwegian hiss in it. <laughs> I don't know. And I probably mispronounced the author's name. Uh, I believe this is a folk horror book. Um, it is about like a small town, um, a, like a witchy folk horror book. Um, I, I believe so when I read the premise of it. The cover is absolutely gorgeous. I actually just got to pick this up at my local bookstore um, exchanging some books in on store credit. So I was so happy they had this. Uh, but yeah, I'm really excited to read this one with you guys. And my co-host for March is my friend Crystal from Fiber Artsy. And I'm super excited to read this one uh, with her. Um, it also sounds kind of weird, which she is uh, the co-host for or a really awesome readathon that happens in March. It's March 17th, I believe, through the 23rd. It's happening this uh, this year, and it is the week of weird, and there are some prompts, and there's Discord and everything. I'll leave a link down below, and she is co-hosting with Jason from Jason's Weird Reads, and I had a blast with this last year. I ended up reading one of my favorite books of the year during this readathon last year, The Cipher. So I'm super excited to read weird books. And I do have a couple of those picked out, but they all depend on like my Libby loans. And so um, I'm not going to mention it yet. And also it feels very far away right now when I'm filming this. So we shall see what happens. You know, I'm, I, I can find some weird books if I want to. <laughs> And then on to the year of layman, you guys thought I gave up. No way, I'm in it. I'm in it for the long haul. I will hate read these books. Um, and yeah, it will just, I'm just gonna hate it, I just know it. Uh, but apparently Andrew really liked this one, Flesh by Richard Lehman, and the audio is available on KU. Uh, I have no idea what this one is about. I'm assuming it's just super zany. I heard something about like a talking thumb or something. And honestly, nothing surprises me anymore with Richard Lehman um, after Beware. So, yep, I'm in it. Let's go. We're doing it. If you guys don't know what the Year of Layman is, I will link Kelsey's Discord down below. She's doing a Year of Layman every month of reading a book with uh, my friend Christine from Secrets Reads. So, uh, yeah, Joy, you can join in on the on the fun. The fun. <laughs> And then the next book club I want to get to is my friend Crystal and Kelly's book club, the Death by TBR book club. They're reading Damnation Game by Clive Barker. I do have a physical copy of this. It's currently stuck in my TBR cart because I have such a small TBR cart and I just can't get it out right now. <laughs> it's too much work. Uh, but I have no idea what this is about, but I love a Clive Barker book. So I am here for it. I own it physically. Um, and yeah, I'm just super excited to read this one finally. And then my friend Amy's book club, The Dark Hearts Book Club, is reading The Center by, I'm gonna butcher this, Aisha Manazar Zidi, Zidiqui. Uh, this is about a Pakistan translator who goes into a language school that is known to um, have people come in and they are completely fluent in whatever language they want to learn in 10 days. So this is very, it sounds very weird and bizarre and I've looked up reviews already of this and people are literally like, I have no idea what I just read and I'm here for it. Um, it sounds very weird. I think it will fit for Week of Weird as well. And yeah, I'm super excited for it. Um, and uh, 
it just sounds <laughs> so bizarre. It also sounds like a fantasy book too, like with the school setting and everything. Uh, so yeah, I'm super excited for this one. Then I will attempt to get to these. It just depends on a library holds, Libby holds, if they come in in time. First Lie wins by Ashley Elston for the Pyramid Book Club, uh, which is a really fun book club hosted by Michelle from Michelle's Library, uh, Lexi from Books with Lexi, and Monica from A Little Bit of Monica. Uh, and I believe this is just a thriller. It looks like a, your standard domestic thriller from the cover. Um, and you know what? Sometimes you just need those. And especially in a really busy month, uh, I definitely want to read this one, especially if my Libby Hold comes in. Um, and then The Shape of Darkness by Laura Purcell. This is my friend Elizabeth's book club, uh, the Gothic Hearts book club. And um, I want to get this one as well, but again, if my hold comes in, um, I will definitely try to get to it. I had a blast with uh, Blue Bluebeard's Castle by Anna Biller, and um, yeah, I just feel like it's kind of getting me out of my comfort zone a bit with these gothic romance books. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm super excited to get to all of these uh, book clubs, hopefully, uh, and to get to Week of Weird. Uh, and yeah, we'll just see what happens. I'm throwing stuff. I'm so excited. Uh, but cut to me playing my Ouija board TBR game. Okay, so I believe I left off on F for 15 short stories by Darcy Coates. Um, and yeah, so let us roll. Let's see, we got five. That is nine. That is an odd number. Let me look at my key. So pink on the cover is what we're doing. Let's see what I come up with. Okay, so pink book I picked Charlotte Says by Alex Bell. This is the sequel to Frozen Charlotte, which is a creepy doll YA story that I read last year and I had a lot of fun with it. It was actually really scary so I ordered this one I think pretty much immediately. This is part of a series, the Red Eye series. It is eight books so I've been meaning to read this one forever and you know what? Maybe my creepy doll vlog will happen in March. Hopefully it's been so long since I've done one and I just I, I really want to do it and I think I've been putting it off uh, because I want to do it right, you know what I mean? <laughs> okay, so let's roll again. And, oh gosh. Is that a six? I got nine again. Another pink book. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look at that. Another pink book. Boy, oh boy. Um, and I went with my 20, one of my 24 and 24, and that is a Mind Stealer by Lee Dujan. It's all in your mind. I believe this was published in 1994. And I think this is more of like a sci-fi thriller um, that I haven't, I don't know anything about. So that's great. Um, it's pinnacle horror. I know that. Um, but yeah, we'll see if this one is as fun and zingy as Bloody Valentine that I just read. Um, this past month. Oh my gosh, I had so much fun with that one. And then my other 24 and 24 pick is going to be The Bad Seed. This is a classic um, paperbacks from hell, evil kid thing happening um, by William March. I'm hoping to find an audio for this one, though, honestly, uh, to, get, to get through more books this month. Uh, but we shall see. And you know what? That is a creepy doll on the cover. Um, and yeah, that is, that's funny because just doll books here. <laughs> but that is it for my TBR, my March reading plans. Let me know what you're excited to read in March and I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Bye!